Hello there, and welcome to another starter video. So today we got a, a custom build I uh, made, and it's it's a pretty small build, but it, it makes use of some techniques that uh, I've recently kind of figured out with the help of some guys in the Discord. So um, originally uh, about a week, no, two weeks ago at this point, I uploaded a build, and it was basically Soren's shuttle slash tug from the Halo TV series, and in it I made use of a <clears throat> I made use of a merge technique where I merged a cockpit inside of a habitat uh, with, uh, one by one. And it looked kind of cool, but you had no way of flying it from the uh, interior, like first person mode. And Tarkom, one of the guys in the Discord, was like, uh, Crimson, have you tried placing a, a window? And I did, and I was like, that's genius. Let's see if it works. And lo and behold, it did work. It allows you to basically see out. It gives you this cool kind of view. So... I really wanted to make a kind of a... I had this idea for like a small shuttle that made use of these engines. And what better way than to make kind of a demo shuttle? Because in this game, like, you don't really see too many shuttles. And the idea behind this, the lore behind this, is it was a kind of a... An early demos vessel that was used to transport people from the planet into orbit. So that's kind of what I went with. It makes use of a couple of merging techniques. So normally when it comes to merging, I'm very much against merging interiors because yeah, it can tend to look a bit funky. But we have some interiors merged in here that we will showcase as we kind of go through the build. So yeah, so let's take a look at the stats, shall we? So it's got a fuel of 210. It's got a hull of 1118, uh, 1193, sorry, it's a bit damaged. And it's got a carrying capacity of 805. It's got a B-class reactor with 39 power. It's got a crew of three, 30 jump range, light year, or 30 range, light year jump range, and then 760 shield. Now, it doesn't have any weapons, and there is spots for weapons, but I wanted to keep it kind of, you know, un, 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 uh, unweaponed, unarmed, just because I wanted to kind of, yeah, it looks kind of cool as a shuttle. Now, obviously, this isn't really a practical vehicle for your kind of, unless you're playing a pacifist. But yeah, so if you want to make this, it'll cost you around 100 and probably 150k. So yeah, let's go take a look at it. <clears throat> so, one of the merges I kind of went with, which we'll, we'll show in more detail, but I'll show you now. So, obviously we've got our standard merge where all our engines, engine, fuel tank, grab drive, uh, re or not engine, sorry, grab drive, reactor, fuel tank, docking port is all in there. And then we've got a couple of my legs i thought that was the and that was the grab drive <clears throat> we've got a couple of um landing struts um landing gear merge inside one another and then we've got these big engines at the back and then up here so we have a three by one demos engineering bay and then you can see a bit of flickering we have a one by one here and a two by one which i think works quite well together which we'll showcase as we go in so in we go Get the, the demo entryway. Now, so something? we've got the three by one here, as you can see, and then we've got our armory. Now, there is a bit of clipping in regards to some of the items, like say, for instance, here. There's some clipping, but for the most part, I did some testing, and like for the most part, it doesn't look too bad. I mean, yeah, you look too closely, but I think the reason I like it is this area here. The little kind of because the, these these this section here is part of the um it's part of the engine room and then we've got our armory here we also have uh jasper Crix. he's still just what up jasper how you doing yeah he's just vibing Hello. and then if we come over here now we do there's a couple of things i will note with this merge technique so first of all when you merge a hatch onto or like two together you get this weird kind of thing where you can access the hatch it doesn't do anything same here you can access the floor hatch. If you want to leave, you just have to highlight the ladder. We've also got, we've got two doors here, which isn't a huge issue when you close them because they're merged on each other. <clears throat> and then we've got our little cockpit here. Now this is the kind of the, what I was showcasing. This looks really cool. It looks like kind of a TIE fighter. Do you need my help? Got our co-pilot seat there. And then this seat's a bit, you know, merged. But like I was saying, this is just kind of to test uh, like putting Habs on top of Habs, this works quite well. Now I didn't, I didn't experiment too much with the Habs on top of Habs, but I know some Habs work better than others. Like originally, I had a, had a captain's quarters in here, and it looked kind of cool. It kind of had this like wall here that you had to walk around, 
but there was a lot of pieces that kind of didn't fit anyway so we're gonna take off as you can see we got a really cool kind of tie fighter-esque cockpit we go in first person to show you really really cool so let's take her off show you how she performs now she's got a lot of power and it's like stat wise it's kind of average now you could definitely upgrade you could merge multiple engines inside one another to make it a little bit more kind of maneuverable but i wanted it to be more of a shuttle you know like it gets from point a to point b that's really all it does so if we see here it's uh it's not the most maneuverable but it gets the job done so we've got a a base speed of 150 because we got those uh, a class engines boost speed of about 600 not too bad very cool agility test now it's not very agile because like i said it's meant to be a shuttle you could obviously i'll show you at the end you could merge um you want to merge the engines more engine inside of it to make it more maneuverable i think it's hitting on like 40 mobility potentially five percent a bit less all right so let's head down to the planet and i will show you how to make it all right so this is all the pieces needed to uh, make the ship now i did keep it try to keep it demos only because that was the whole point behind it so we've got our uh, demos companionate one by one demos armory two by one demos engineering bay a three by one uh, Magellan C11 or C1X cockpit or Magellan, sorry, uh, from Nova Galactic 220 cargo to crew. Got a hundred uh, 110 DP docker bottom. We have our 120 LD landing bay from Deimos. For the engines, we've got two white dwarf 2030 engines from Elodyne, A class three power, 13,020 engine thrust, 2,600 maneuvering thrust. And then we have three uh, Deimos 320CB landing gear, three thrust each. We've got a single 500T Helium-3 tank from Ballistic Solutions Incorporated to 10 fuel. A 104DS MAG inertial reactor from Dogstar, B-Class, 39 power, 1125. Now, if you're just having the unarmed version, this is kind of overkill, but, you know, I wanted to build it for upgrading potential. We've got an RD-3000 Beta Crab Drive from Relodyne, B-Class, 10 power, 36 jump thrust, which gives us 30 light years. We've got a Marduk 1040A shield generator from uh, Protector System, A-Class, 7 power. 760 shield you can obviously slot in a vanguard but i didn't want to use a vanguard because like i said this is supposed to be an older kind of vessel we've got a 10t hauler cargo hold from sexton shield system 585 then for structural pieces we've got a demo spine a4 a demo spine c4 a demo spine c aft demos tail a and we have four of these demos wing e's two facing backwards two facing forwards and then we have our porthole four so to start off with the build what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to kind of lay it out you're going to lay it out like this like that and then this slots underneath here and i basically you're you're going to want to build the um the merge first so we're going to start with this fuel tank here and then we're going to drop it down like that and we're going to bring out this fuel tank so we have our little kind of setup and then you're going to highlight the reactor highlight the fuel drop it up like that and you'll see it's now inside we're now going to do the exact same thing with the grab drive slot the grab drive in highlight it highlight the top fuel there you go like that perfect and then finally the docker now the, in order to get the docker down we're going to need to make a little bit of a kind of scaffold so all we're going to do is we're going to slot this down like so the docker will slot in like that just highlight the docker and just like that now we have all of our kind of stuff hidden inside here so next what we're going to do is we're going to put this companion way here actually realistically let me see real realistically this doesn't need to be here now that i think of it so initially i had this in because wait i'll show you real quick so when I initially built this vessel, it looked something like this. It looked like that. And while there's nothing wrong with that, I didn't like the kind of the break in the line. So what I initially did was I basically dropped this down on top of it. So this was merged inside. But in doing that, I realized that this is, you know, it's unnecessary. So instead, we're just going to have the Deimos armory here. And we're going to put the engineering bay up on top. 
and then we're just going to drop it down by highlighting it highlighting the bottom fuel tank it'll pop up that's fine just want to delete the fuel tank there we go and then highlight the bottom one again and then just like that now it's kind of merged in nice and snug next we're going to get our porthole flip it flip it back like so and then for the <clears throat> the next part what we're going to do is we need to slap our um we're going to need to slap our uh and our um our, sorry i'm going to snap these landing gear so all we're going to basically do is we're making a kind of a, another scaffold so that we can snap the landing gear so we're going to do it like that landing gear will snap like that we can remove the rest and then if we delete this we can duplicate it up once like that and then we're ready so now we're just going to merge this up three times so there's one there's two and there's three now we're going to leave that there for a moment just in case now next what we're going to do is we're going to add the engines so the engines are going to sit down below here on the bottom snap point just because i like it kind of being very slim line it kind of also reminds me a bit like the puddle jumper from uh, uh from not mass effect uh from starfield stargate now we're going to put our mardi shield generator there but before we put that into its final position we're going to move it we're going to we delete these i'm going to keep one i'm going to snap this here and then we've got our top spine snap them like that and then we're gonna put this one like that Oops. <clears throat> we don't want to delete that we want to keep that and we put our shield generator under there and now we're just gonna basically do the duplication technique to get it to merge down or drop down like that perfect and then we're going to snap the this here put our little cargo hold underneath and then finally we've got these four pieces here so now you currently there's errors landing gear must be yeah that's so if we were to delete this it's all good but what i'm going to do is see how it has a mobility of 56 so we're going to we're going to add two more engines to it and we're going to drop them down inside just so we can get that max mobility we're gonna we as you see there what we did is we basically just duplicated these up like so we're going to highlight both of them and then have some sort of piece. It'll bump, bump up. That's fine. Highlight the middle ones again. Make sure not to highlight the top ones. There we go. And then highlight the bottom. And there they are down like that. Now we can remove these. Do we have enough landing gear? Yep. Perfect. So now we delete that and the ship is good to go. Now we have 100 mobility. Um, mass is a bit, a bit heavier, but that's fine. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I'll really quickly, just because I, I don't normally do this, but I'm going to really quickly go over the, the interior just very quickly, just to kind of showcase how it looks now um, without that piece. <clears throat> it should it should basically look the same. It's just there won't be a second door real quick. But yeah, this is, this is just a, like I said, it's a mix between a proof of concept on the, the building itself. So, yeah, so just one door here which is a lot not tight not tidier and then the um obviously with the floor hatch it's still gonna be like that but yeah that's that's pretty much it um hope you like the ship it's it's pretty small it's kind of you know very simple but i quite like it i like the kind of the shape and the design of it and yeah let me know if you guys have kind of experimented because i know initially a lot of people are very like taboo on merging in general and then people have become more open to the idea of merging but they've been strictly exterior merging so let me know if you guys have kind of been experimenting with merging habs inside of other habs and if you've come up with like kind of cool uh interior designs but yeah as always guys uh thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe if you like this sort of content and check out some of my other videos Bye bye